Welcome back and good morning again, everybody, from St. James Academy in Lenexa, the St. James Volleyball Slam presented by hy V. I'm Leon Liebel of a new broadcast partner. I'm now joined by Jill Dorsey Hall, former KU Volleyball great Jill Dorsey Hall, and it's good to be with you again as we were last year as we're getting ready for our third match of this long day of volleyball. It's Northwest by Northwest. Johnny Mission Northwest against Blue Valley Northwest. And again, a contrast perhaps in experience between these two teams. As Shawnee Mission Northwest boasts three players that have started all four years of their career, which is impressive. So they have a lot of veterans looking to try to go back to state for a fourth year in a row. On the other side, some defensive prowess spearheaded by their senior, Elena Pearson. She's sensational. They're going to be a gritty team under their head coach, Molly Haggerty. They're going to be aggressive, and this is going to be a good one. Blue Valley Northwest Huskies. Johnny Mission Northwest Cougars will have the opening serve coming your way right after this. Again, you're watching the St. James Volleyball Slam presented by hy V. And welcome back to St. James Academy, the St. James Volleyball Slam. Once again, I'm Leon Liebel, along with Jill Dorsey Hall as we bring you the third match of this long day of volleyball. 16 teams, eight matches, and we got two in the books. First match early this morning, it was Blue Valley winning in straight sets over Olathe East. And then on our uh, second match, really competitive and good one, Blue Valley North, the defending 6A state champions, outlasted Free State in three sets. And now coming up again, it's Blue Alley Northwest, Shawnee Mission Northwest. And uh, check out the uh, starters for both teams. Here is for the Northwest Cougars, Shawnee Mission Northwest. You got Kate Reese, she's a libero. Liv Martin, Tori Creason, Vix Villat, Allie Lawrence, Julie Anna Samova and Eleanor Ingle. Meanwhile, for the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies, Morgan Sears, Marley Burbach, Remy Nuss, Laney Douglas, Avery Allers, Elena Pearson, she's going to be the libero, and Akela Kador for the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies. And again, their head coach, Molly Haggerty, who also played at the University of Kansas. And I know she played with uh, Coach Nancy Dorsey. And Jill, you played with her too. And indeed, and she is an ultimate competitor. Feisty, she was a setter. And so her team is going to play with a ton of passion and energy. Always a joy to see Molly. We nicknamed Noodle. That goes way back. So good friend of mine as well. And she's trying to get her team to play a little more aggressive. Mm -hmm. She's even got them talking to a psychiatrist or a sports psychologist. Yeah, to fail forward. She said, hey, we're going to manage the chaos, but we're going to work on being aggressive because we, in the past, have been a little bit timid, but working on being okay with failing forward. Positively talk to, to one another, but also to their ourselves. So I love how coaches are starting to implement the mental side of the game. There is a lot of mental uh, aspects to this, uh, to this game of volleyball I'm discovering. Susan Speck, she's the head coach of the Shawnee Mission Northwest Cougars. And the Cougars will be on the left side of your screen in the orange and black. And the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies on the right side of your screen. You know, in our previous game, we had Janelle Green, the daughter of former Kansas City Chief quarterback Trent Green, playing for Blue Valley North. In this match for Blue Valley Northwest, we have Elena Pearson, her father, former Kansas City Chief defensive back, J.C. Pearson. He's here today. Again, uh, Trent Green, he was here watching his daughter as well. So good bloodlines here at the uh, St. James Volleyball slam, we're underway, almost, as the first serve for the third match of the day is underway. The Cougars serving to the Huskies. And just like that, Shawnee Mission Northwest on the board in the first set, 1-0. A great pickup, though, by Pearson on the back row in service reception. They had exactly what they wanted, just a bit hit wide on that attempt. You know, both teams kind of trying to perhaps find themselves early in the season, even though uh, the Cougars, as you mentioned, have so much experience with the uh, four-year starters as they take the early two-to-nothing lead. And not a lot of programs can say they have even a four-year, one four-year varsity starter in their program, and they have three. A lot of veterans and trying to get back to state for the fourth year in a row. Impressive feat for Shawnee Mission Northwest. And that serve from... Anna Samova, Julia Anna Samova, the uh, freshman a little too deep and uh, goes to 
Blue Valley Northwest. As Elena Pearson doing the serving for the Huskies. And we're going to have a re look at that one again as Cougars got the point. You see just a press a bit late there. Engel with great speed on that slide attack. She's one of those four years starting in varsity, committed to Central Missouri. We've talked about this this morning. So impressive how many of these young ladies are going to play volleyball at the next level, and not just the next level, but a high level. A lot of them going into Division One. I. I mentioned this earlier today too that volleyball produces more Division One athletes now than any sport in the state of Kansas, which is probably not surprising. And more and more girls are playing volleyball, the sport of volleyball, and. It is incredible the talent around this area. It keeps increasing year after year. Laney Douglas. Laney Douglas had been on varsity since freshman year, but out all season long last year, working through a knee injury. They're so excited to get, that, get her back. Get that big brace on her left knee and uh, comes up with the uh, finish there, four to two. Shawnee Mission Northwest on top. Blue Valley Northwest now serving. After that point, Summer Anderson in there serving. And the Cougars. Trying to miss the Northwest coming up with the point five to two here in the first set. Yeah, Molly Haggerty doesn't look like she would be the coach of a team that would be described as timid. <laughs> Definitely not. They're going to be aggressive for sure. Trying to go after high hands but missing it. And the Cougars expanding their lead now even more. And there's Susan Speck, uh, caught a brief glimpse over there as on the sideline for Shawnee Mission Northwest and you know, a violation here against Blue Valley Northwest and it's gonna be another point, seven to two. You're gonna see some of that first match out there's for most Su of these teams. Susan Speck keeps trying to hide from us. There she is, <laughs> the head coach. As her team is up. Seven season, the head coach. Taking the team to state five times. She played at Benedictine as a setter. It was uh, seven to two, I believe. Or is it six to two? Okay, they, it was not a point. That was, it is six to two. Six to two, Shawnee Mission Northwest on top. Laney Douglas trying to get it over and she does. She just tapped that one over the net. Somehow got it to go. Uh, using that 6-3 height. The set was a bit tight, but she handled it well, utilizing the hands of the block. Swipes it right off of him. That makes it 6-3. Again, the Cougars of Shawnee Mission Northwest. Top here of Blue Valley North and West. And the serve into the net. You know, in our first two matches with Nancy on the broadcast, we had a couple points where the uh, serve hit the top of the net. She does not like that. What do you think of that rule? <laughs> that is still alive and in? Yes. Yeah, I mean, they made that adjustment a couple years back. I, 2003, we found out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind it. I, you know, I, I think that it goes to be the, the aggressor, right, when you're trying to serve low to the top of the plane of the net. Seven to four after that point from Molly Haggerty's team. And Blue Valley Northwest of Laney Douglas. Doing the serve. Oh, nice block. And the point for Blue Valley Northwest. That was Gabby uh, Troutner in there, the senior in the middle. Laney Douglas, good look at her. Douglas with a strong serve. Cougars. Cougars coming back with a strong finish. It's Liv Martin in the middle. A junior in that middle blocker position, an extreme angle, a wonderful cutback. Eight to five now. Shawnee Mission Northwest led this entire first set. The biggest lead has been three points and a strong serve right there. Puts them up with their biggest lead, nine to five, as we'll see the replay there. On the serve, that's uh, Howie Laurent. And back-to-back -back aces. Wow. 
Cougars on fire right now as they uh, stretch that advantage to 10 to 5. It's just finding some seams and has the top spin of that ball, so it falls off the table with that spin. That one a little bit more of a floater. A little tap over there for the uh, Huskies. And the backward shot. Cougars trying to set something up here, and they get it. I'm not sure how that one fell in. Liv Martin got it in, number three for Sunny Mission Northwest. See that again. It's amazing what a strong server can do for your team. They can get, really get them on a run, and that's happening right now for the Cougars. A free ball to work with because of that strong oh, serve. Nice shot. Corey Creason. Corey Creason and uh, 12 to 5, and Molly Haggerty wants a timeout. As Sunny Mission Northwest has taken the lead. We're back with more right after this. How about those Sunny Mission Northwest fans? They're having a good time across the way, and all these schools really well represented by a strong student body on a on a Saturday morning in August to watch. It some might volleyball. be in bed, right? Most <laughs> high schoolers might still be sleeping at this point. Sunny Mission Northwest have 12 to 5. There's the uh, Blue Valley Northwest Huskies. Their team down and trying to miss the Northwest Cougars. You know, this is the first time they played in the slam. And uh, extremely excited about it, Susan Speck said in her seventh year. And they have come out looking very excited. Now they're up 13 to 5 of a strong serving performance from Hallie Laurent. Oh, man. Very strong service run right now for the Cougars, setting up everything that they want. They're able to utilize their middle as well, but right now they're winning the battle of serve and pass. And Susan Speck, as I mentioned, seventh year as the uh, head coach, and she's taken the uh, Cougars to the state tournament five times. Shining Mission Northwest in the Orange trying to continue this hot streak as they lead 14 to five in the first set. Good rally here as both teams fighting back and forth. And that's going to be a point for the Cougars. And Cougars impressive, running their middles throughout, in control, looking in control in every aspect of the match so far. Allie L Laurent, the sophomore, has been tremendous serving for Sunny Mission Northwest. Yet another point for the Cougars as they are just they're having a good time out there right now. Peterson with that double block. And a little Martin in there. And 16 to 6. What a tremendous scoring run, though, Ooh. for the Cougars. Yeah, finally the uh, Blue Valley Northwest Huskies will be able to serve as uh, Rini Nasse back there. Rini Nasse Jr. Seems like it's been a long time since Blue Valley Northwest has served, and right into the net it goes. So right back to Shawnee Mission Northwest. 17 to 6. Liv Martin now will serve. There's that, there's that uh, serve that hits the top of the net that Nancy Dorsey hates. <laughs> But it counts, 18 to six. Jill, didn't we, ex we expect a little more competitive match than we're seeing right now? But the Cougars are just playing so well. That's a serve and pass yeah. game right now for the Cougars. Great serve. Not the veteran team. We knew they were going to come out firing, but impressive so far for Shawnee Mission Northwest. Well, we got another timeout on the floor with Shawnee Mission Northwest leading 19 to 6. You're watching the St. James Volleyball Slam presented by Ivy. Well, both teams are named Northwest, Shawnee Mission Northwest, Blue Valley Northwest, but it's been all Shawnee Mission Northwest so far in this first set. 19 to 6, the Cougars leading. The Huskies of Blue Valley Northwest. Just such a fast start and doing a great job of serving the ball. As right now it's Liv Martin. She's had a couple strong serves. 19 to 6 again. 
And a big hit right there. And Avery Allers. And the point goes to Blue Valley Northwest, and they'll be back to serve and see if they can get something going here. Well, timely break in the action there. Called the timeout, settled the troops, got a good pass, and the ball out to the senior who took care of that using hands. Molly Burbach uh, now serving for the Northwest. Johnny Mission Northwest returning. Pearson, the uh, save, and yeah, another error there from the uh, Northwest Huskies, and that's going to be Cougars Point leading now 20 to 7. And earlier today, it was uh, Blue Valley winning in straight sense over Olathe East. Talk about a contrast in experience there. Olathe East with one senior. Blue Valley had 11 seniors on their roster. And then Free State and Blue Valley North in our second match. Blue Valley North outlasting Free State in a great match in three sets. And now the Sunny Mission Northwest in control against Blue Valley Northwest leading 21-7. You can see these seniors and their connection. That was a beautiful ball from Tori Kreese and the senior setter. Pushed that ball out to the outside, allowed time and space to get the ball off of the hands of the blocker. Juliana Samova serving for Blue or for Shiny Mission Northwest. And that was a terrific shot there. Maybe a little momentum booster for Blue Valley Northwest. And especially for the freshman. That's Morgan Sears on the outside. Cuts the lead at 21 to 8. Elena Pearson. Again, your dad, J.C. Pearson, he told us he's had a, a daughter play in this event seven straight years. And the Cougars coming right back. They always have an answer. They have not allowed Northwest to, to go on a run. And the, the offense is so well balanced. They're getting everybody involved in front of the setter, behind the setter, multitude of players. It's really difficult to stop and key on defensively when they have such good, good control of the ball and then Creason just dishing the ball wherever she wants right now for the Cougars. Tori Creason, who is now committed to, uh, she will be serving Tori Creason. Now there's no point given there and the officials discussing this. Because I thought it was 21 to eight, wasn't it before that? Mm-hmm. Molly Haggerty talking to the official here. The uh, scores table behind us. You know, Susan Specht. Yeah, she's staying put. I thought she was going to come over and find out what's going on here. I was going to say Tori Creason, who is about to serve for the Cougars. She is a uh, headed to play college volleyball at Truman State. Yeah, one of those four years starting varsity. Yeah. Led the state in assists last year. Now they do have a point up. It is 22 to eight. So there was a point. I, I thought it, I thought there was, and there was some confusion there at the scores table. So 22 to eight, Cougars of Shawnee Mission Northwest increasing their advantage. And we mentioned uh, Elena Pearson and uh, her father, J.C. Pearson, the former Kansas City Chief defensive back. He's here today. There he is, JC. We're in the purple, looking good. As he mentioned, he's had uh, he's had other daughters play, and so he's had a daughter play seven, uh, at least one daughter play at least seven straight years in the St. James Volleyball Slam. There's his daughter Elena. Trent Green. He was here earlier today watching his daughter Janelle Green play for Blue Valley North. Elena Pearson, incredible player. She already holds school records at Blue Valley Northwest, heading to Texas A&M next season. That's right. And JC, he's got to like Blue Valley Northwest. He's a former uh, University of Washington Husky. So. Wearing that purple? Yeah. <laughs> now he's, now he's, he's cheering for the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies. As that serve is a little too deep, and it's going to be 22 to 9. And, Northwest, Blue Valley Northwest will get the serve back, but they have just not been able to put back, put together back-to-back -back scores. I'm working through some first match kinks. Players back in the lineup. 
getting your feet settled. And sometimes you start you see that, especially in the serve and pass aspect, miss serves, just settling in. And in, even if you can't come back for Molly Haggerty and her team with within win this set, try to take some momentum and carry it into set number two. It has been a dominant performance so far for Shawnee Mission Northwest. Summer Anderson, the server for uh, Blue Valley Northwest of the Huskies. A, a rare back-to-back -back scores. Trying to keep a run going here, a little bit of a run, and yeah, they got it. Three unanswered points now for Blue Valley Northwest. I thought I saw a touch of the plane of the net. The Cougars are all pleading for one, not called. Point goes to the Huskies. Taylor Standifer with the uh, shot attempt there for Shawnee Mission Northwest. And it sets something up here, and ooh, right in front of us, we're nearly crashing our table. Elena Pearson, but they got the save, and now they got the point. So Blue Valley Northwest finally on a bit of a run. Summer Anderson continuing to serve for the uh, Huskies. Summer Anderson, a nice transfer from Blue Valley West, the DS that's on a roll right now, serving on the back row. Molly Haggerty calls her a little firecracker. With some awesome energy. Shawnee Mission Northwest player there, that is uh, Vix Villat getting her shoe tied. That's why we had a little delay here in the action. Now we're back. And Anderson with the serve. Eleanor Engel with a little tap over for the uh, Shawnee Mission Northwest Cougars. Again, it's Engel, but the block and the score. And how about Blue Valley Northwest? Well, Gabby Troutner in the middle, you can see hanging in the air. One of the emotional leaders and glue of the team. 22 to 13. Still a big lead for Shawnee Mission Northwest, but Blue Valley Northwest. Seven and it's eight unanswered. 22 to 14, and now it's Shawnee Mission Northwest that wants to call a timeout and talk it over. So a timeout on the floor at the St. James Volleyball Slam presented by hy V. We're back with more after this. Well, the Blue Valley Northwest fans have something to cheer about as their team is on a bit of a run here. Nine unanswered points. They were down big early against Shawnee Mission Northwest, but now it's 22 to 14. And Summer Anderson, she has served this entire run for the Huskies and Another strong serves. Cougars able to save it. Now into the uh, court side for Northwest, Blue Valley Northwest, and they score again. And now you're starting to feel a little more of this momentum shift because they are fired up. 22 to 15. Uh, everything they wanted. They had a free ball. Went to Laney Douglas, a 6-3 outside with some heat. Body language from the Northwest, uh, Shawnee Mission Northwest girls now is a little you know, like, what's going on? But finally they stopped the, uh, stopped the bleeding a little bit here on the uh, serve into the net. So it's 23 to 15. So both teams now have settled into this match. Both teams had the run earlier for Shawnee Mission Northwest and then as of recent from Blue Valley Northwest and coming back with a strong serve. That serve is uh, from Kate Reese Libero. There she is, number two. She's a, a junior, and this is set point for Shawnee Mission Northwest. So they lead 24 to 15. And the finish, Liv Martin finishes off the first set. So a bit of a run by Blue Valley Northwest, but Shawnee Mission Northwest with that big lead able to hold off. The Huskies and win the first set 25 to 15. The second set coming your way right after this. You're watching the St. James Volleyball Slam presented by Ivy. And back at St. James Academy, the St. James Volleyball Slam, the Shawnee Mission Northwest Cougars have just defeated uh, Blue Valley Northwest in the first set 25 to 15. Northwest got out to a big lead. And again, 16 teams, eight matches here, a full day of volleyball in this 13th annual St. James Slam. We had Olathe East and Blue Valley. Blue Valley defeating Olathe East in straight sets. 
Blue Valley North defeated Free State in three sets. And now, of course, uh, we see uh, we've got Blue Valley uh, Northwest and Shawnee Mission Northwest. Blue Valley West, Lee Summit West, Liberty Olathe Northwest, St. Teresa's Academy and Bishop Miege, and Washburn Rural St. Thomas Aquinas. And in the final match of the day, the Lansing Lions defending 5A state champions against the host, St. James Academy. And what was going right there for Shawnee Mission Northwest? Such a dominant first set. Yeah, they started off the match serving extremely aggressive, had control of the match, utilizing their middles. I thought that Creason, the senior setter, did a wonderful job of distributing the ball, getting many players involved. And when you establish your middles, it opens everything up. An exceptional job by Martin and Engel, the two middles, I thought, were getting the ball, and they were doing what they wanted with it. Give credit, though, to... Blue Valley Northwest because they did make a late push, perhaps gained a bit of momentum and confidence. They started to pass, serve and pass a bit better on their side. So I expect a much more competitive second set because that first set was really a set of runs for both teams. I was going to ask about that because Northwest, they probably were just in too deep of a hole really to come back even though they had the great run. But that, that run had to give them, like you said, some confidence in going into the second set. That it's they know. just hard to first, first match out. And we knew that Shawnee Mission Northwest was going to boast a lot of seniors, players that have been playing together for you know, three of them playing starting varsity for all four years. This is their fourth year together. It's a lot of team chemistry, whereas Blue Northwest certainly has some seniors and veterans, but also some new pieces. Players back from injury. And they looked uh, pretty fired up right now, Northwest uh, coming out. As the Cougars showing some enthusiasm as well, the Shawnee Mission Northwest Cougars. Again, Shawnee Mission Northwest making their first appearance in the St. James Volleyball Slam, the 13th annual. Features the uh, top volleyball teams in the uh, Kansas City metro area and beyond. We have Washburn Rural out at Topeka, and they have a tremendous team. There's Free State from Lawrence as we are back to action with Northwest serving. And that's going to be out, and that'll be Cougars off to the one to nothing lead here in the second set. A great aggressive swing, though, from Allers. If you're Allers on the outside, you're going to take that air if you're Molly Haggerty with that aggressiveness. Just missing it wide on the line attempt. Tori Creason, who we saw earlier serve, is a strong server, and now back at it for the Cougars. Oh, that's a nice little tap over and in. So you saw Allers, the play before on the outside pin, that time moving her around. So I like the change up of the offensive options there. Moved her in the two ball in the middle. Lena Pearson will be back to serve now for Blue Valley Northwest. Tied up one to one here in the second set. And North, what, Blue Valley Northwest just can't handle that one. Two to one, back the other way. Kate Reese back to serve. Reese a left-hander. Laney Douglas finishes off the point. I think they got her in the net uh -oh. on the follow-through on that tip attempt. Indeed they did. That's going to go to Shawnee Mission Northwest. So it's three to one now. Kate Reese, a pretty strong server. A little left-hander popping it over the net. Douglas with a big wind up and swing and finish. Well, welcome back, Laney Douglas. Some power. Great touch. You can see how high that contact point. It's kind of scary coming at you from that angle. The ball's coming in fast. Three to two. It cuts the lead to one. This Valley is Northwest. a strong rotation for Blue Valley Northwest. Summer Anderson back there to serve, and she was the young lady that was serving when they went on that big run in the first set. See if she can replicate that success here in the second set. Oh, nice block, and that's going to be the point for the Huskies. That's some strong play right there at the net. Gabby Troutner. And Troutner has been a strong force for the Husky in the middle. 
Stayed true to her blocking duties. Well, there's that serve, just hit the net, got over, and then we're gonna have, it's gonna be a point for Blue Valley Northwest. I'm not sure what the call was there. I think it was a lift, it was an mm. overpass that Trotner was able to go up and take a good swing. So for the first time in this match, Blue Valley Northwest has the lead. And now they lead by two, five to three. Summer Anderson has been a big key to this. I mean, this is the second time we've seen her serve, and uh, I don't think that's a coincidence that they've gone on runs with her back there, a strong server. She's varying up her serve, short, deep, with some good velocity as well. A net violation, I think they had Creason try to stay out, but that ball was tailing into the net. So six to three, Blue Valley Northwest. Serving with Summer Anderson. She has been amazing back there. And another point for the Huskies. We saw in the first set, they were in system. Shawnee Mission Northwest, they're able to utilize middles now, but out of system. And the Huskies have all the momentum. Yeah, for that momentum, Shawnee Mission Northwest wants to talk it over. You're watching the St. James Volleyball Slam presented by Hy-Vee. We're back with more after this. Well, after dropping the first set in rather decisive fashion against the Shawnee Mission Northwest team, Blue Valley Northwest to really come on strong here in the second set with Summer Anderson again serving. Remember, she led her team on a run in that first set. Wasn't enough to get back in it, but she's got her team up 7-3 to three right now. After the timeout from Shawnee Mission Northwest. And an ace just like that. Eight to three. I'm moving the ball around. She's serving at every different spot. That time deep into the floor. Dropped right into that back, a deep corner. Beautiful jump serve. And another one, another, another one. ace. She's, she's just beside herself right now. Laughing back there, enjoying the, the moment. Now leading nine to three. <laughs> she's giddy. Another good serve. This time the Cougars, well, too deep. 10 to three, Blue Valley Northwest. Jill, you kind of called this. You said the second <laughs> set would be completely different, and it has been. We see the replay there and the celebration. Another tough one. Wow. Summer Anderson is a pitcher right now that's on fire. It's the Summer Anderson show from the service line. I mean, all around, you can, it's not just going back to one spot. I mean, it is in between seams. It is a flat floater with great velocity. That one just yeah. gonna sail, that one. <laughs> kind of wonder if the adrenaline might finally catch up to her a little bit, but wow, what a run from Summer Anderson, the senior. And 11 to four, Blue Valley Northwest on top. So Shawnee Minson Northwest. Oh, they get right back into it with a Vicks Villat. Nice serve. Lot that ball sinking. Pearson with the save. And then the finish though for Blue Valley Northwest. Now Morgan Sears, a freshman, new to the program. But explosive, and you know, Molly Haggerty is extremely excited about Sears and play a variety of spots. So Blue Valley Northwest back to serve with somebody different. Amaya Kador. See if they can get on another run, the Huskies. Laney Douglas with the finish. Nobody there to return that one. Again, another aggressive serve led to a free ball and then able to take advantage of it. Laney Douglas starting to catch fire. You can see that's a, a great ball in the zone where she can go up and split the seam of the block. Nice set up there by Marley Burbach. And the Huskies. This is just the opposite of what we saw in the first set. Amazing, Molly Aggerty. I want her team to be less timid. And they certainly are here in the second set. Who 
Godor if they serve again. And Godor now on the dig on the other end. Laney Douglas knocks it over. And that's going to be a point for Northwest. Shiny Mr. Northwest Cougars is Liv Martin, I believe. Yeah, the junior in the middle had a lot of success in that first set, trying to get her back involved. Corey Kreese in there with her. Hallie Laurent, Laurent, back to serve. Too deep. 14-7, that cuts the lead. Blue Valley Northwest on tap. There's one of those serves trickling over the net, into the net. And then Laney Douglas can't finish, and that's going to make it 14-8. It's interesting, both teams are get into a rotation where they have a lot of success. This is the rotation for the Cougars where they had a, a significant amount of success in that first set. Douglas, oh, Pierce, nice diving save. And the point for Blue Valley Northwest. Oh, incredible er effort from the libero Pearson on coverage of her attackers. They keep this ball up and alive, and then to see the end, the smart Nifty shot right over the top of the block. Find the opening. Gabby Troutner with that uh, point. 15-8, Blue Valley Northwest. And that ball just trickles off the top of the net and goes the wrong way for Shawnee Mission Northwest. So it's 16-8. Laney Douglas back there serving for the Huskies. And that's not an uh, error you like to see if you're Molly Haggerty into the net. We're back the other way we go for the Cougars. Liv Martin back to serve. Summer Anderson in return on the serve. Boy, good defense there by Blue Valley Northwest. <laughs> Even better defense than blocked by the Cougars of Shawnee Mission Northwest. And that's going to be a point awarded to Blue Valley Northwest, 17 to 9. Well, both teams featuring exceptional coverage of their attackers. Both teams getting positive touches of the plane of the net from blocking, but incredible job of keeping that ball alive on their side, of covering their attackers. One of the longer extended rallies we've seen so far. In Shawnee Mission, Northwest won the first set 25 to 15, but Blue Valley Northwest now up 17 to 9 here in the second set. Oh, what a save! How did they pull that off? Blue Valley Northwest, the Huskies, now they got some momentum. I love it. They just kept fighting. How did that ball not hit the floor as we see the replay? Remy Ness with the first save, and then out of bounds it goes, and uh, another timeout on the floor as Shawnee Mission Northwest down 18 to 9. Susan Speck calls the timeout here in the second set. A wonderful timing of a, of a timeout from Coach Speck. I mean, the Huskies have all that momentum after an energy effort type of a play. Slow that down. Don't let that carry on. Talk to your team. Great use of a timeout. And if you believe there is such a thing as momentum, Blue Valley Northwest certainly has it. You know, going back to that run they had in the first set, we talked about it. They had to give them a little confidence, yeah. even though it was they were too far behind to really catch up at the time, but they got it going right now. Molly Haggerty out on the court. It's those plays like that where you get a hand on it, you just fight your way to see another, you know, extended rally. And that serve from Blue Valley Northwest. That's not what you want, though. If you got that momentum to have a serve go too long and uh, kind of slow things down for you. Anna Samova, Julia Anna Samova serving for Shawnee Mission Northwest. Is that a Kayla Kador? Kador sisters. That's the senior. And Kayla. 19 to 10, Blue Valley Northwest. 
On top after that is Marley Burbach. Sophomore back to serve for Blue Valley Northwest. The door trying to finish and trying to miss the Northwest the answer. <laughs> back and forth they go. This is impressive. And then a whistle. And it's going to be a point for Blue Valley Northwest. What was the call there, Jill? I didn't it was a double contact double. from Creason. And once again, I mean, Blue Valley Northwest is just flying. Bodies flying everywhere. The, the energy and effort has went up exponentially. 20 to 10 now, the Huskies. It's amazing. It's a, a competitive match overall, but the sets. Yeah, <laughs> a little lopsided. Yeah. It's a game of volleyball, right? I mean, the teams get some momentum. You have a good set. Everything starts clicking. And confidence on your side. Tori Creason now serving for Shawnee Mission Northwest. Avery Olives for Blue Valley Northwest. And this time, the Cougars can't get it over. And back we go the other way. I think Elena Pearson will be serving for Blue Valley Northwest. Officials looking for a towel. Wipe up the floor. The sweatshirt will do the trick. Is that what that is? I thought that's what that was. <laughs> Look at this. I wonder if she asked. I love it. I wonder if she asked permission. Whoever that owns that sweatshirt. It's probably hers. <laughs> I gotta love it. And now the towels are showing the up. Senior says, "I'll take care of this. <laughs> Let's get going." All right, 21 to 11. Elena Pearson with a 10-point lead and serving. The Shawnee Mission Northwest. Oh, nice shot there by Eleanor Engel. Well, Eleanor Engel trying to feed her and then also Liv Martin check in. Both of those middle blockers, they were hot in that first set. So if they can try to get them a bit more involved in this second set, good things happen for the Cougars when they get involved. Kate Reese back to serve the left-hander. She's a pretty effective server herself. Amy Douglas trying to Get a big finish. Cougars with the answer. And that's out. And the point's going back to Blue Valley Northwest. 22 to 12. Looks like we may be headed to a third in the signing set. As look who's back to serve. Summer Anderson. She usually serves these long, so far we've seen her long scoring runs. She's, they just need three points here to wrap up this one. Oh, but not this time. That was a big hit from Taylor Standifer. Summer Anderson could not handle that. Yeah, it's Standifer, look at that. Oh, right between her arms. Yeah, splits the seam of the block. Good touch, though, by Summer Anderson on the back. Just couldn't control it. Cougars unable to save it right here near the uh, table on the sideline where we're located. And crashing into the uh, seat. I appreciate the hustle. 23-13 and we'll roll over the other side to the right side on your screen is and that's Blue Valley Northwest serving. Both these coaches have to be extremely pleased with the amount of you know, effort, the pursuit of the ball, the energy on both sides. Pearson and Anderson, there's Laney Douglas, and that's going to be too far. 23 to 14. Molly well, we having a conversation with Laney Douglas. Likes the aggressive, trying to go for the swing. Holly Laurent back to serve, and she has been kind of the, uh, the go to uh, server for this. Shawnee Mission Northwest team, that was a good one there. 23-15. And this is the second set. Oh, Douglas into the net. Uh-oh, we lost our antenna. How about that? 
Tori Creason. You know, I just appreciate Creason's put, you know, picking up the floor. She's doing the, yeah, <laughs> trying to do the antenna. No, there's, there's how it came down. We see it. Boom! There it goes. They still have got that. Now somebody, you know, bring out a chair. That that probably would help. Molly Haggerty out to help as well, holding the net. It's a team effort on both sides. 23-16 again, the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies are leading. After dropping the first set, 25-15. to 15. <laughs> Well, we still haven't got this... Uh, Looked like it was going to be an easy fix. Now it's uh, turned into a big operation. Once again, this is the third match of eight matches today here at the St. James Volleyball Slam presented by hy V. 13 years, right, of the Slam? 13th annual. Keeps getting bigger I wasn't better. sure 2020, I, I had a, my memory refresh. Was there a slam, but it was an abbreviated version right. back there. It was there. a bit and, more condensed. But it counts, so it's it counts. 13 continuous years. Yeah, huge. And uh, it just continues to grow and grow in popularity. I mean, just indicative by the fans that show up for this thing early this morning. Now. They started filing in, and the students, so much enthusiasm behind these teams. Volleyball is a big deal in the Kansas City area. It's fun because a lot of these players face each other within their club teams when high school is not in session, but then they bring, they come and play for their respected high schools and they get to see different players across the net. All right, we've got, we've got the big wigs in now for this uh, antenna fix. Nancy Dorsey is on the court. She'll get to figure it out. She's the one that spearheaded this whole event 13 years ago. I know trying to get more, more televised action for female athletes. <laughs> it's, been, it's been amazing, this, the success of this, of this event, as we mentioned, and great volleyball. Now there's players featured all throughout the day going to high level division one universities, D2, play at the collegiate level. And it is definitely a, a wonderful event. Yeah, again, the uh, rest of the day, the schedule looks like this after this uh, Shawnee Mission Northwest, Blue Valley Northwest. We have Lee Summit West, Blue Valley West. Liberty will be taking on Olathe Northwest, then St. Teresa's against Bishop Yeage, Washburn Rural. A pretty good team out of Topeka. Mm -hmm. Taking on St. Thomas Aquinas. And then the Lansing Lions, the defending 5A state champions, taking on Nancy Dorsey's St. James Academy teams. So there is the uh, Titans of uh, Lee Summit West. Waiting in the wings for their matches. This one has been delayed by an issue with the uh, the net. The antenna on the net came down and gonna get this thing taken care of. Taylor No Welding out there as well, trying to help as much as she can. It <laughs> seems to be a difficult one to fix right now. This antenna is causing all sorts of issues. We're back. I think we may have made some progress here. Get after uh, this is my uh, third match call uh, on Spectrum Sports today. Following this, uh, Kevin White will take over the microphone. Then later, the legendary Leaf Lysick. Taking a little break from his golf game, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Leaf, Leaf's a good golfer. Yeah, he, uh, I guess he won the uh, the championship at uh, Heritage Park last couple of weeks. So I don't know if that was the uh, senior division or. Just <laughs> I could say him and I went to college together. So you can say that. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> 
His son's a good golfer. Yeah, he's going to the Baker, Baker University yeah. to, to golf, indeed. Once again, a, a delay in the action here as we get this uh, net figured out. Well, didn't it originally look like it was going to be a simple operation? <laughs> when they, yeah, now they're tying things. And there's Nancy Dorsey. Does it all. TV commentator. Her teammates Coach. together, her and Molly, they're working together to put the antenna back. <laughs> I love this, though, the, the student sections are now, like, we're going to fill the void. Oh, it good old fashion. You, we got spirit cheer. Remember what's going on here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Shiny Mission Northwest is serving as the antenna is back on the net. Great call out, though, from Elena Pearson saying, hey, can we just get a, a rotation check, make sure that we're in the right position? <laughs> Arendt with the uh, say or the serve, and Blue Valley Northwest. Gabby Troutner, the senior. She's been so solid in the middle for the Huskies. And then right after that attempt, that kill, she goes to her center and she's like, that's a great set. I'd love to see that from. I remember, right, if I remember correctly from uh, last year, she's just, just solid. One of those players that you just count on. 24 to 16, it's set match for Blue Valley Northwest. Yeah, it's just kind of a miss hit here right in front of us. So Shiny Mission Northwest will be back to serve, down 24 to 17. Still set match for Blue Valley Northwest. It's Liv Martin serving. Oh, that's a nice just a sinker. Summer Anderson could not handle it. That was just a tough, really impossible serve to return. 24 to 18. Liv Martin, she's a junior. Another tough serve. And Northwest, Blue Valley Northwest, unable to return it. And the still set point. Fourth time in a row for set point. Shiny Mission Northwest continue. All her. And that's going to do it. Avery Allers finishes off for the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies as they win the second set 25 to 19 and we are headed to a third and deciding set here at the St. James Volleyball Slam presented by Hy-Vee. At the St. James Volleyball Slam presented by Hy-Vee. We're headed to a third and deciding set between Shawnee Mission Northwest and Blue Valley Northwest. And Shawnee Mission Northwest won that first set 25-15. Blue Valley Northwest just came back and won 25-19. Coming up after this, fourth match of the day will be halfway done. Lee Summit West against Blue Valley West. That's coming up at 12:30 from St. James Academy. We're the Battle of the Northwest right now, and then up to coming with the Battle of the West. <laughs> That fun. by design, put those directions, uh, same directions, and confuse the play-by-play uh, -play guy. <laughs> it's always fun, though, when you have a battle, too, across the state line. Missouri taking on a Kansas school. How, how does the volleyball compare between states? Uh, they're both very, very high level. I mean, a lot of these, some of these players play on the same club team, but they're across the state line. So it's very competitive. The Kansas City Metro, exceptional, though, for girls volleyball, indeed. Many top-level players coming out of this area. Okay, they split the first two sets, and both teams kind of won in decisive fashion. What do we expect in the third set? Can we have a little more competitive, I, uh, maybe, nature? If I had to call it, right? I, yeah. I, I said I thought that Blue Valley Northwest was going to come back and settle in, and indeed they did in that second set. So I think anything goes here. Whoever's going to establish themselves early with serve and pass is going to come out victorious. It sounds simple, right? In game of volleyball, you got to serve and pass, but that's what we saw. That 
Stony Mission Northwest handled that very well on that first set, and then Blue Valley Northwest handled the serve pass game much better in that second set and led, led to that victory. So anything goes here in set number three. And it's uh, the deciding set. Second straight match we've gotten the three sets, gone the distance. And the last uh, one Blue Valley North outlasted three state in three sets. As we are off, this is it. The final set. Pearson, the dig. And the finish over there on the far side. And that is Marley Burbach, I believe. Where is that? Was Morgan Sears. Morgan Sears, the Morgan freshman. Sears number five, yes. And she has had a lot of success going door, down that line, but so difficult as a freshman coming into this big stage, first match of your high school career, but she has done very well. Burbach with the uh, serve, and now, now the ball hit the net, and then the Huskies. So that's going to be a point for the. Northwest Cougars and it's one to one. Taylor Standifer back in for Shawnee Mission Northwest. Tori Creason back to serve. Creason a pretty successful server for this team. Oh, that's a tough shot. Avery Allers crushing it. Allers one of those players that have been in the the program for four years, leading the way, the senior, all EKL league, second team last year. Elena Pearson serving. Oh, nice block there by Laney Douglas for Blue Valley Northwest. Douglas. Oh, Susan Speck is arguing. There was a violation there by Douglas to no avail. Let's see it again. I think that was in the follow through of Douglas. Well, here's a serve into the net, so it's going to go back to Shiny Mission Northwest. And they seem a little bit fired up about that with their coach showing some emotion. Three to two. Kate Reese. Oh, Douglas right in her own bench with the save. And how about that, though, the finish from Shawnee Mission Northwest, Liv Martin. Three to three. Liv Martin primarily played right side last year, but moved into the middle this season. Kate Reese, the left handed server, and oh, another strong finish by the Valley Northwest. I was going to ask you, facing a left handed server, if that's any different at all. You just got to set up your setup and take that angle a little bit differently with body positioning and service reception. Not, not extremely difficult. I'd say more so from a left handed attacker, but on the serve, you have a little bit more time and space to work with that. Yeah, there's Summer Anderson, and we've seen what she can do when she has served with this Blue Valley Northwest team. As Northwest Cougar players run into each other, but they still were able to keep this thing alive, but not this time. This point's going to go to Blue Valley Northwest. As Summer Anderson, the scoring machine, when she is serving. Yeah, there are the two players, as um, Tori Creason and uh, Lily Weber running into each other for Shawnee Mission Northwest. Five to three, Blue Valley Northwest on top, and now six to three, and that is two consecutive points with Summer Anderson back there serving. That's Gabby Troutner once again, mm. the senior, so smart, sees the floor. The touch. Anderson, that strong serve. Oh, and the block out. Troutner again. Gabby Troutner. And we're going to have a timeout. Shawnee Mission Northwest wants to talk it over. As Blue Valley Northwest leads 7 to 3 in this third and deciding set. There's Gabby Troutner. 
Yeah, he's Coach, just an outstanding player. Coach Hacker, he says that she loves the team aspect of volleyball more than anyone. And, and you could see like just the, the fire, the energy, back-to-back the -back strong plays for her Huskies. Remember on Spectrum Sports, it's not all just volleyball. We also got uh, football starting last night over on the Missouri side. And this coming uh, Friday night, the high V game of the week will be Blue Valley Northwest against St. James Academy. High school football season will be kicking off on the Kansas side of the state line this Friday night. Missouri started last night. Summer Anderson back there to serve for Blue Valley Northwest. What a spark plug she has been for this team. Yet another point for Blue Valley Northwest. I honestly didn't see that. That was out or in, but it was out. So Summer Anderson continues this run. Oh, Troutner just dominant in the middle right now. Well, Troutman, look at her. She's locked in, quick off the ground, a quick snap of the wrist. Again, a three-set match, but every set has been one of a dominant victory for the winning team. And we're not to that stage yet, but Southern Mission Northwest has managed to uh, get the serve back and stop Summer Anderson by the nine to four. Blue Valley Northwest on top. Molly Haggerty's team. She's just really got to love the way their team has responded. Because quite honestly, that first set, they didn't really, really struggle, except for that one run they had. And we talked about that giving them some confidence, perhaps, but really bounce back. Anytime you lose the first set and you come, you know, force the third set, you got to be happy. Uh, that was a big hit and a big finish. Taylor Standifer. Number seven for Sunday Mission Northwest. Yeah, still time though to work with. This is a strong attack. Had angle went right after it. Still a lot of a lot of set to work with here. And this is a good rotation for the Cougars. Yeah, Hallie Larvin to back there to serve, and she's been successful. And just like that, I I jinx her as she hits it into the net. So it's 11 to 5 now. There's Susan Speck trying to get her team. Back in rhythm a little bit here against Blue Valley Northwest. Laney Douglas serving for the Huskies. Wow. Summer Anderson making an effort trying to save that, but not there. Eleven to six. Liv Martin now back to serve. Shannon Mission Northwest. Good defense there by the Cougars. Pearson pops it over the net. Oh! Tori Creason just Kind of tossed it over the net. <laughs> Tori Crease and the rally goes on. A nifty little tip. Hard to get the ball down in front of Pearson. She's got great range. Well, that cuts the Blue Valley Northwest lead to four, 11 to seven. Luke Martin back there to serve. And that one way too much on it. Both teams. Trying to utilize their middles, you know, they want to go back there and serve aggressive to try to limit the options of their opponent. You're going to see some of those missed serves. You're going to see some of those balls that are just going to float out because they're serving a floater serve. It's Remy Ness now serving for Blue Valley Northwest. And 
That's a nice shot there by Julia Anasimova. The freshman. Aggressive. Both teams boasting a, a freshman playing in their, their first year on varsity. That's the lead to four, 12 to eight. Here in this third and deciding set. Sometimes maybe the adrenaline, we talked about this earlier, yeah. just gets going in certain parts of a match. And you go and serve at practice and there's not a lot of, you know, there's not a lot of noise in the gym and you don't have that ad adrenaline kick in quite the same. Wow. Cougar somehow keeping that one alive and now we got a whistle and it's going to be a point for Blue Valley Northwest. As uh, Tori Creason, I think, past the net there. We're shining Mission Northwest. So 14-8. Oh, nice. Now that point's going to go to Shawnee Mission Northwest. Back and forth we go. That's been a long match. Maybe a net issue. And now three sets, and how about an ace? Corey Creason. Putting it in the crease. Shiny Mission Northwest a couple times now. We've gotten within four, and here they are again, 14 to 10. Can they get a little closer? Yeah, nope. That's a big, big shot right there from Blue Valley Northwest. That's Allers coming around in the middle. That has been successful. Got a high contact point. Boy, just Great look winding, at that shot. Yeah, you know, winding up that arm behind her up in the air. Pearson serving. Oh, man. Eleanor Engel. Well, Engel showing the power and the heat. Back to a four point advantage. They're cutting that lead to four for Shawnee Mission Northwest. Fifth down, 15 to 11. It's Kate Reese, strong server. Laney Douglas. And that's going to go to Blue Valley Northwest. Starting to see much cleaner volleyball, though, in this third set. Both teams passing better, serving aggressive. You're going to see some of the serving airs, right? Like we talked about with some of the adrenaline, but you're seeing cleaner contacts on service reception. Well, some, Summer Anderson back there. To, oh, she got it. Nancy Dorsey special is good. 17-11. Uh, kudos to her in this match. She has been phenomenal in the back line serving. Yeah. Just misses that one. She's getting a little tired. Serves so much. 17 to 12, Blue Valley Northwest continuing to hold on to a four, five point advantage in this third and deciding set. That one's way too deep, and that will be a point for Shawnee Mission Northwest. Again, cutting the lead to four. They have yet to get, get across that barrier, though, within four. And the serve. That goes out and back to a five point lead for Blue Valley Northwest, 18 13. And after this match, it will be Blue Valley West against Lee Summit West. Reese setting it up, stand up here. Oh, how about Jason, or how about Pearson there for sale? Elena Pearson, I always called her JC, but and then the Cougars come right back. <laughs> the block party. Woo. Taylor Standifer. And the big celebration. So back to a four point advantage for Blue Valley Northwest. Shiny Mission Northwest serving down 18 to 14. 
And now they get within three. Yeah, still time here. Little by little chipping away at this deficit. Their best server back there as well, Hallie Lawrence. And one of the questions for the Cougars was how are they going to fill the hole losing their libero, starting DS to graduation last year. And I thought they'd done a good job in this match coming in. And Laurent, one of, one of those players. Oh, the Huskies keep it alive and everybody going to the floor, but no, they didn't. And it will be a two point lead now for Blue Valley Northwest. The Cougars making a run. And Douglas, her shot blocked right back at her. It's 18 to 17, and it is a one point game here in the third set. Susan Speck, big smile on her face as it is a timeout. Timeout, Blue Valley Northwest. Let's check that one out again. Douglas, and how about uh, that front wall there? Tori Creason and Liv Martin <laughs> with the block. Liv Martin. That didn't allow any Number seam three. in between. They try to move that zone for Douglas on that three ball to try to get the seam of the block, but nice job in unison and not allowing a seam and the energy, the momentum on the side of Shawnee Mission Northwest, showing that they have the veteran players to rely on. Didn't panic when they were down big in this third set. Slowly but surely getting into this, this third set, just one point down. Shawnee Mission Northwest again making their first appearance in the uh, St. James Slam and a memorable trip so far. And they have just tied it up in this third and deciding set. 18-18 is Julia Anasimova, the freshman. Oh, it's so smart. She doesn't play like a freshman. Comfortable out there, six rotation player. In Allie Lawrence, best server on the team. Continuing to be effective. And is that, they call that in. Oh my, 1918. Let's look at this again. Think. She's right in front of it. 1918. And another block, another point. And I tell you what, the Northwest Cougars got the momentum definitely now as they have taken the lead here in this third set. Molly Haggerty wants to call another timeout. Blue Valley Northwest. Shawnee Mission Northwest fans across the way are on their feet. This is getting loud. Got to give it up to Shawnee Mission Northwest. It really, that second set, they kind of, it was a decisive win for Blue Valley Northwest. The Huskers looked like they were in control most of the way in this third set. Leading by four or five points. Trying to miss the Northwest, had a hard time getting past that four point barrier. Now they lead by two. We're seeing, we saw lopsided victories, right, for both teams winning a set. Now this one that, much tighter. Yeah, and I got a feeling it's going to end up that, finish that way, but we shall see. Huskies. They needed that coming out of that timeout. Stop the bleeding a little bit. And now it's a back to a one point lead for Shiny Mission Northwest, 20 to 19. Laney Douglas serving. And two deep. Oh my. That is a tough break. Liv Martin now serving for Shawnee Mission Northwest. They lead 21 to 19. Oh! Northwest with the point. 
With Avery Allers right there at the net. I like that set attempt though to angle on that slide. Remy Ness will serve for Northwest. They're down by one. Good serve. They're tied up, 21 off. Here it is. It is going to come down to the wire. A back this. and forth, the team's lopsided victories in the first two sets of this one. First We're getting everything sets. we wanted, yeah, right? Yeah, that was just preliminary stuff. This is the <laughs> real deal. Ness. A little old track. Yes, it's good. Eleanor Engel. Great shot, 22 to 21. Shawnee Mission Northwest on top. Julia Anasimova, the freshman back to serve. Now, last time she served, she uh, got one into the net, maybe unforced air, but this time is she successful? Oh, what a save. Blue Valley Northwest keeping it alive. Not this time, though. As Eleanor Ingle, she showed the touch the last time. This time, she shows the power. The senior coming around on the slide. So powerful, but a great pickup, great energy, defensive players all over the place. And then this free ball, well, they utilized it. They took advantage right through the seam of the block on the slide attempt. 23-21, Shawnee Mission Northwest. Trying to finish this match. Oh, but Blue Valley Northwest not going away. The Huskies within one, 23 to 22. The aggressiveness from Kador. Amazing to keep track of that ball. Thought that ball might have been down on the side of the Cougars. Tremendous effort to keep that alive, but even better awareness from Kador to say, okay, that ball's over and went and attacked it on one. Good serve, and now Northwest. We're going to match point. Shawnee Mission Northwest at 24 to 22. And I was looking around the gym here. We've got a full house. As this is an exciting finish between these two Northwest schools. Cougars of Shawnee Mission Northwest trying to finish it out right here. But no! <laughs> Northwest with another point. Morgan Sears, the freshman, coming through. Match on the line. That has got to build that confidence. She has been outstanding. It is still match point for Shawnee Mission Northwest. So Lena Pearson will be serving. The Blue Valley Northwest. Good wow. serve. What a serve from Pearson. Huskies. Every shot now is very important. And that's going to tie it up. How about this? And for match point, now it's tied up 24 all. Let's go extras. And this one, you see, just tags the antenna. That ball is out. Here's J.C. Pearson <laughs> watching his daughter serve right now. And she's going to get and a yeah, yes. great serve from Pearson. Now it is match point for Blue Valley Northwest. And a timeout. Oh, man, this is amazing again after two uh, lopsided sets. Yeah, not, not tight at all. I mean, both teams like, dominant in both of the first two sets. And this one, we're getting everything we wanted back and forth. I got to tell you, you get nervous watching these yeah. I mean, they, they can't afford any mistakes here. And I will say it's much easier playing when you're watching it. It is that you seem to like you get nervous for either side. That's what you love though about watching volleyball, the the back and forth, the athleticism on display. Molly Haggerty, she is really has to be happy the way her team has come back at losing it for a set. Won the second set in fairly dominant fashion, and now holding, trying to hold on and come back from behind to win it. Match point. Leading 25 to 24, and that's it. Blue Valley Northwest has won this match. 26-24. Oh man! Oh, what a finish! 
coming from behind late. Blue Valley Northwest over Shawnee Mission Northwest. What a match. What a final third set it was. I think we're going to see both of these teams have a lot of success. Certainly, Shawnee Mission Northwest has the veteran players. They're going to have a ton of success trying to look to go back to state for the fourth year in a row. But the energy and the effort that Blue Valley Northwest showed was really, really fun. That was a fun match. Both those teams, I think, are going to have successful seasons. It's funny, uh, Molly Haggerty talking about she wanted her team to be less timid. Yeah. They, they got that. They found something today they did. in the very they first did. match of the year. So. That is going to do it for this, uh, the third match of the day here at the St. James Volleyball Slam presented by High V. Now, coming up next, a little bit later here, as they try to stay on schedule, it's going to be Blue Valley West versus Lee Summit West. That's going to do it for me, Leon Liebel. I've, been, I've enjoyed my uh, time broadcasting here at the St. James Volleyball Slam along with Nancy Dorsey, Jill Dorsey Hall. Thank you so very much. That was exciting stuff as Blue Valley Northwest over Shawnee Mission Northwest. Again, we have more volleyball coming your way from Lenexa as you're watching the St. James Volleyball Slam presented by Jaime.